Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Shout out to and word to my brethren in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Shout out to New Brunswick, New Jersey. <laughs> uh, that was random, but uh, basically, uh, Lewis King Kong Ortiz. It's no secret now. He signed with Al Heyman, um, which is funny because he signed with Eddie Heron just recently. He was with Matchroom Sports just recently. So now this uh, is either going to A, do one of two things for him. Uh, give him, get him closer to a Deontay Wilder fight or get him closer to an Anthony Joshua fight. Should he continue to look successful or should he look vulnerable? Now, he's scheduled and slated to fight on April 22nd on the undercard. Andre Berto versus Sean Porter. Now, this is a fight that I've been looking into maybe going to, so keep just to take stay tuned for that. Maybe we go to that fight. Um, but I, and one of the reasons why is because of this fight right here that's been announced. Um, Luis Ortiz uh, is now on the undercard going to fight a uh, tough, very, very game, one of the toughest guys in boxing. Fought them all. True warrior in uh, Derek Rossi. Um, and to be quite honest with you, you know, it's been, I think this would be Luis Ortiz's best opponent since the Bryant and Jennings fight. And the reason I say that is because look at his last two fights. Um, David Allen. David Allen is a nobody as far as the elite level heavyweights. Um, and then Malik Scott didn't come to fight. The last guy was he's fought that really, really came to fight at all was Bryant Jennings. So this is the first, I think, live opponent. I know people are going to look at Rossi's record and say, well, this guy is 31 and 12 and he's been stopped five times and he's a bum. But... A lot of those losses on his record, they could have won, you know, four or five of them losses. There was close fights against some good heavyweights. You know, he had a split decision with Joey DeWaco. He had a good fight with uh, Fresno Kendo. He, um, you know, he knocked down Bermain Stiverne. Um, so this is not a guy that you can just overlook. This is a very dangerous heavyweight, you know. We talk about dangerous, like, heavyweight journeyman type fighters. This is one of those dangerous um, heavyweight journeyman guys. And, and I, I, I genuinely believe if, if we see the Lewis Tees, that turned out in the Malik Scott fight. This fight would be very, be very interesting. Now, obviously, I'm still picking Ortiz because I just think he's a bit more experienced, um, and you know, with the power, I think um, you know he's he's someone that you know until you till, till you actually lose it, or you know, you're gonna actually you gotta favor him. Um, but just with the, with, the, with the lack of opposition, maybe his mind being in other places and father time slowly catching up to him. This, to me, is a very interesting fight. It's a fight that I think Rossi can win. I'm not saying he's going to win it, but I'm saying he can win it because he's a live dog in this fight. Don't don't sleep on him. You guys are going to come back to this video, and I want you to remember this. He's a live dog in this fight. This is a guy that I've interviewed. I've seen him spar. Um, this is a very intelligent fighter. This is someone that, um, you know, um, you may not see it when you see when, when you watch fights on TV. You may not see it, but if you watch him in person spar, he's deceptively athletic. You know, he doesn't have an athletic build, but he's deceptively athletic athletic and has good footwork and um, is someone that uh, is not an easy out for e not not an easy opponent for anybody so I think this is actually going to be a good test for Lewis Ortiz because after the Malik Scott fight and an underwhelming performance against David Allen um, he needs someone that's going to push him and he needs someone that's going to give him really really hard rounds and come to fight and with Rossi you can always expect a quality fight a real quality fight and um, like I said, if the Ortiz from the Scott Malik Scott fight shows up in this fight, uh, he's gonna have a hard time. And and, and this and Rossi's not gonna be afraid of Ortiz. He's fought so many damn name heavyweights. He's fought Eric Intemper, Remains Stevern, Trevor Bryant, Glasscock, Fresno Kendo, Aldi Harrison, Joey Dueco. He beat Joe Hanks in a majority decision. Um, Eddie Chambers, Pulev, uh, Dimitrenko, Ray Mercer. Um, you know this is this is this is this is a guy that is no stranger. Um, to the top of the division, to, to, to fighting the, you know what's looked at as the upper echelon guys in the division or guys with names. So why be afraid of a, a Lewis Ortiz that's been vulnerable? What when you're in the gym and you've been sparring with, you know he, he's here in uh, South Florida at the heavyweight factory. He was here for about a good month or so, two months or so. He sparred with Trevor Bryan. I, he might have. I don't know about this, so don't quote me on this one. But he might have sparred with Jarrell Miller, and you know he all. Uh, he also, while he was here, he, he stayed at Evander Holyfield's house. So maybe Holyfield, um, maybe Holyfield gave this dude some knowledge. You know, Holyfield. He was with Evander Holyfield. He, he stayed. He stayed um, at his place in here in South Florida while he, uh, he was going to the heavyweight factory for camp with Trevor Bryan and all the heavyweights. 
So maybe Holyfield will put him on some game, and or, or Bo, Shannon Briggs or Bo, or one of these guys. You know, I think I think you might see the best version. Um, not the best. I don't know. I think you're going to see a very good version of Derek Rossi. I, I think I can be confident in saying that. Do I think he's going to win? Um, no. But would I be surprised if he pulled it out somehow and Father Time hit Lewis Ortiz on the night? Absolutely not. I think this is a very good fight. And um, that's what it is. Rossi's not afraid to fight Lewis Ortiz. He's not, he's, he's not scared of Ortiz. And I think these other heavyweights hike up their skirts and be more like Rossi. So that's what it is. April 22nd. Let me know what you guys think. Derek Rossi versus Lewis Ortiz. Um, do you guys agree with me or not? I think, you know, just knowing what I know about Rossi, seeing his fights, um, he's one of those guys in boxing that you know, he's better than his record indicates. And I want you guys to remember that. He's better than his record indicates. I'm picking Ortiz to win, but it's going to be the best opponent he's fought since December 2015 when he beat Brian Jennings. So remember that. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from doing it. So until next time, take care, guys.